first seen the pipes, it was at this swimming do. We were at Bangor Yacht Club and we had our own stag do. And a guy called Ryan Couples came down to Bangor and he played a couple of tunes and I was just like, oh, I would like to learn them. They look quite interesting. And then we spoke to his dad, Glenn Couples, and he told us to get in touch with Caldy Hamilton of Cleveland Memorial Pipe Band. And I've been learning the pipes ever since. The first time I played my pipes, it was quite awkward because I didn't really have the breath that blew into the pipes and keep them up. So I had to stick my tongue out like this to keep the blue pipe in and to actually blow and that's why I've kept my blue pipe ever since and the first couple of years I played everyone called me sticky out tongue. The first time I played in the band going down a street it was just the best feeling ever because everyone's trying to listen in onto what your music is trying to learn something new. So today I picked Highland Cathedral because it's a really nice tune to play and it really means a lot of sentimental to some people because sometimes you play it at funerals and it makes people cry and it's just really a lovely tune to play. A couple in a band it's it's good and it, it's also annoying as well because if the drummers are doing well if the pipers are, are doing bad then it's like yay but <laughs> also a bit annoying but it is good we just had a baby um there about 11 days ago um so we haven't yet decided who's doing what yet as in like playing wise and band practices and stuff but i'm sure we'll have to come up with something the big question is the baby gonna pipe or drum <laughs> Hopefully pipe. <laughs> I'm going to put sticks in her hand. Like. <laughs> the tune we're playing today is a 6-8 called Lily Christie. And me and Ali both played this while we were at, a, at the Somme in France. It's quite a nice flow to it. Um, like the drum and piping sounds quite good together with it. As soon as we play it, it's exactly, it takes us back to where we sort of first started playing duets like us here together. And this is why we're excited to play it today. So obviously I haven't competed for a few years with the pandemic going on um, in terms of solos and um, solo competitions, but 
Um, before that, uh, I've, I've been lucky to win a few. I've, I've won the All Ireland Championships. Um, I've won the Ulster Championships, uh, and I've won the Cully Baggage Championships as well. Um, I've competed in the World Championships as well um, a couple of times now. Uh, in the first one, I got third place, which was um, a pretty uh, sort of unreal moment for me. Um, I was quite proud of myself for that, and uh, I also competed once in the um, what they're called the shots solos. Um, they don't really specify an area; just that it's competed in the town of shots. Um, it's, but it's one of the major um, solo competitions, and I won uh, one of my sections in that, and I came uh, third overall um, in my first time competing there. So that was, um, and it was against a pretty big competition as well. So I was quite proud of myself. So the tune that I've chosen to play today is called Castle Dangerous. Uh, it's a tune that's quite close to my heart, as it was the first um, drumming score that I ever learnt. Still playing it after all these years, I still enjoy um, playing it as it's just, it's, it's a nice little um, sort of reminder of, of where, where I started off from and, you know, playing it and showing and seeing how far I've got from learning that tune and taking me a while to learn that tune to um, playing it, you know, just whenever I like is, it's, it's, it's a nice little sort of reminder for myself.